All right, day three, final day. Um, slept like eight and a half hours. Feeling pretty stiff, but it should be all right. All right, start of day three, final day. I really wish I had brought a second set of bibs because these ones are still soaking wet and starting to smell. Also, my brakes are really soft. Tried to make a quick adjustment, it's not really working. So, should have enough braking power to get me home. So there's times where I get go off route from what I plan on ride with GPS and this morning is one of them. That's a prime example of always sometimes slow down and check Google Maps. There was a nice bike lane. I continued west and uh, I don't know, I just had a, a feeling that it wasn't the right way to go. And I checked and it would have been a dead end after several kilometers so first mechanical had no rear brakes they were spongy at the beginning I lost them completely I took a look at it and something I've never done before but it's an easy fix basically the brake cable just slipped one of the disadvantages of having mechanical brakes but easy to fix in the field so, made up that hill you probably don't know what hill I'm talking about one of the biggest I've ever climbed Whew. Uh, probably small by comparison to what most cyclists ride, but I feel like after this trip I'm going to be really good at hills. Bad route picking on my part. Probably thought I'd cut a corner, not realizing it went straight up the side of a small mound. But Port Hope is a beautiful town. Here's a schnitzel snack, schnitzel shack that I got my supper at last night. Didn't film. It's absolutely soaked.
cuts me deep. I'm a thousand miles from happiness. Thousand miles from you. It's a far reach from you to me. I feel the time and the space between. It's a thousand miles of loneliness. Thousand miles from you. Every bugging me and then on the hills my legs just feel like lead like even little rollers where I normally would carry most of my speed up and over maybe lose three or four kilometers an hour I'm slowing down all the way to 13 even 10 kilometers an hour so it's really killing my pace today but Today was never going to be about setting speed records. It's the first time ever doing three massive days in a row. Good preparation for a longer tour that I'm planning. And I'll tell you about that later. I'm not around but I'm not gone. I miss the bed you all sleeping on. I'm a thousand miles from coziness, thousand miles from you. So just stopped to put on some sunscreen and uh, out of the corner of my eye I see a big spider hanging out of my beard. Oh like molly. Not like huge but bigger than what you want hanging off of your face. It hits me hard 
and it cuts me deep. I'm a thousand miles from happiness. Thousand miles from you. It's a far reach from you to me. I feel the time and the space between. It's a thousand miles of loneliness. Thousand miles from you. Every I'm not around, but I'm not gone. I miss the bed you're sleeping on. I'm a thousand miles from coziness. Thousand miles from you. About halfway done in Ajax or Oshawa. It's completely run out of energy. So I think this is the end of my journey. I'm gonna stop now. I've made it 80 kilometers today. Still have 60 kilometers to go, but I'm only doing about 13 kilometers an hour. I've been out of water for quite a while. I'm gonna go to a grocery store. I'm really disappointed in myself. It's 4 p.m. So I've got at least four hours. I don't have any groceries at home. The GO train will get me home in, fifth, in an hour. If I can get some food. I don't know what to say. It really feels like I failed, but I mean, I made it really, really far. I just, I can't do it. Not another long, long day. 80 kilometers was enough. There's supposed to be a tailwind. It's been a brutal headwind all day, so. I'm turning around, I'm gonna grab some water, grab some sugar, some salt, and I'm gonna catch the next GO train back to Union Station. I don't know. It was a good lesson learning weekend. It was a big jump from my previous weekend out, which I haven't really talked about. Yeah.